Hello guys, welcome back to Cypress tutorial from Friendus. Next, we're gonna talk about ways to deal with files. That is to prepare parts for nesting. For figures with arrows are invalid. Usually, we need to modify figures after importing the file. Otherwise, they won't be identified as parts. In Cypress, figures to be fixed are displayed with green lines, while proper parts are filled in blue. Three steps to go to get a part. First, find the errors. In the box on the top left writes errors description and severity. They are presented as red in the drawing. Second, modify errors with tools on the top. And the last, when errors has been cleaned, we can turn figures into parts by this icon or the other way around. Above here are tools we usually use for modifying. We've got split, clip, extend, bridge, font editing features, and in optimized drop-down menu, we have this connect near and the remove duplication, which are used a lot. Now let's find out how they work one by one. After we import parts, here we can see errors shown in red. Look at this irregular rectangle. It has an open contour. We need to remove the two unwanted lines. We can just delete them by this clip. So this way we get a standard rectangle that can be turned into a part. Then let's take a look at this open contour figure. Utilizing extend feature, click and move cursor to the figure, the gap will be filled by one click and we can turn it into a part. Okay, now it's turn for bridge. Say if we've got a letter O, now it's in text format. And before we apply the bridge, we need to turn it into, into curves. As we can see, we would have to pierce twice to cut off this part. But if we use bridge, let's see what will happen. We input the bridge width. And then click on one side of the figure, drag to the other we get this bridge line. See, bridge saves us a pierce. And by font editing here, we can change font style according to needs. When we need to delete a part, here delete refers to turning into a figure and we may explode the figure into several lines to make some adjustment. And then we can get it reconnected by this feature in Optimize called Connect Near. So again, it can be turned into a part. And speaking of drawing arrows, we split them into two main groups. Which are arrows such as outer contour open, self-intersection, inner contour overlap, and contour overlap 
and warnings such as invalid comma lines, multi-external contours, inner contour open and unwanted bridge line. Warnings can be ignored for your insisting to turn it into parts. Apart from the open contour mentioned above and the invalid common lines that will be optimized as imported, we are gonna, we're going to check how the rest of errors and warnings can be fixed. Now we've got many errors in this file. Let's check them one by one. First, this is another situation of common line. So when we select the red part, the whole rectangle is selected, which is not what we need. So first we use the split to cut them off. Now we can either delete the unwanted lines or set it as marking line if, if that's how the figure is supposed to be. The second problem is is multi-external contours. For it for it makes no sense to set the innermost or the outermost contour as marked. The part would fall either way, so we just delete one of them as needed. Get, get it selected and delete. The next we're going to solve is in the contour open. Two lines hang in the middle of rectangle. Also, we can set them as marking lines. This cross-like figure has open outer contour. As we've said before, we just delete unwanted lines by the clip button. And this is this is an invalid bridge line between these two squares. Delete is all we need to do. Figures may get identified as invalid by mistake. For instance, this hourglass shape identified as self-intersection. Anyway, we can skip the warning and manually turn it into part. By this icon, force to set as part. Now we regroup them and we, we get six parts as we want. And now we can turn them and now we can get go straight to the nesting interface. 